everybody, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with another episode of Just a Little Sketchy. And so I'm using a page maps sketch again and it calls for three two and a half by two and a half photos. So I have already like trimmed my photos and backed them with a little bit of white cardstock. And I'm gonna stay pretty true to the sketch today because I'm using my April um, How to Kill a Kit with Style. And so I'm playing with this Tulla and Norbert collection and I love the colors, I love the patterns, I want to be able to use little pieces of everything, and so in order to do that, I am gonna stay pretty close to the sketch. So I kinda decided ahead of time, I'm gonna use that green, like geometric, as my background, and rather than having another pattern paper sit on top of it as that bigger section from the sketch, I'm gonna use a piece of white cardstock. But I don't want, the lines on this layout to be too like stark and dramatic. So I am gonna do some inking, but I'm taking all my pattern papers that I wanna use and cutting them into three by three squares. And then I'm gonna take one strip of the floral paper and leave it longer. So you'll kind of see how that starts to come together here in a second. So I'm just kind of playing around with where I want the patterns to go and I'm gonna switch them out and move them around as I keep kind of building the layout. Um, then I go ahead and switch that flowered paper to that longer strip because that's kind of how the title block is in this particular sketch. Um, but really this is just kind of a modified grid. And so I'm taking some Catherine Pooler ink and I decided to use the Tutti Fruity, which is kind of like an orangish red color. And I'm going to do, um, just ink the edges of all of my paper. So the smaller squares, the white cardstock, and then I'm going to come in and do the outline around the entire layout as well. I am not putting any ink on the white cardstock borders that I have around my photos because I do like that to be a little bit more of a stark contrast um, because I feel like it helps my photos stand out from the pattern paper that's going behind them. Um, so once I have that ink kind of added all around the edges, I feel like everything is a little bit more kind of cohesive and that's one of my favorite strategies when I'm combining a ton of pattern paper together to keep the look very cohesive is to use that inking on the edges. So then I'm just gonna kind of play around with where I want all of those blocks to go. And I know like which blocks are gonna have photos in them based on the sketch. And so that's kind of helping me decide where I want certain patterns to go. So I have three pictures and they are from, they are some old pictures, you guys. So that little guy in the picture, that's Parker. Like you guys are used to seeing Parker on my channel and he does not look like that anymore. Um, and so this is the first time we had taken him to a place called Schneff Farms that is near where um, we live. And he had gone on this carousel and it's called um, a Parker carousel. And with his name being Parker, we just thought that that was kind of cute. So I have a picture of him, a couple pictures of him on the carousel, and then I also have a picture of the sign where it says that it's the Parker carousel. And so in the sketch, there's kind of that like scallopy border that runs down the page, and I decided to use some of my red ribbon in place of that instead. And then in order to carry that ribbon element across the layout, I put a little loop in that bottom square of pattern paper. And then I was trying to decide if I could get some of this um, it's like part of the sticker border. It has a little bit of a scallop diagonal stripe edge. I was trying to get it into a bigger space and it was just a little bit too much. So I decided to just put it around that one block. In the sketch, that is where the title in the journaling is. My title is not going to end up going on that block. So I am going to go as I start embellishing, just like I always tell you guys, when I start embellishing is when I start moving away from the sketch. So the sketch I really use to build my foundation and then I sort of like move off on my own. So you'll see kind of how that particular block comes together and it ends up looking a little bit different, but I really love how this layout turns out. So I am looking through my stickers and I'm looking through the die cut pack, trying to decide what I wanna put where and there's this little rainbow sticker that I think is super cute. And so I want to tuck that behind that top photo. And then I'm playing around with this little embellishment cluster. So I've got the rainbow in the clouds and I've got that red polka dot heart. And then I'm going to peel up my little sticker at the top and put some inking on that as well. Just so that the edges kind of have a little more definition to them. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to start kind of layering things up. So I like that little gnome on the bottom. I love this word carefree. And so I'm trying to figure out how to make that part of my title. 
And in the sketch, there's this area that has tickets and like little banners and clouds up towards the top. And I want to create something similar, but I don't want exactly what they have. So I went ahead and took some of my sticker, um, like my ticket washi, and I'm inking the edge of it. And I'm going to get that up in that top spot. So it's giving me another place to have an embellishment cluster. And then I'm adding little pieces of that ticket tape to my other clusters just to kind of create more of a cohesive look. So then I'm going to take that carefree sticker and put it on some dimensional foam adhesive and ink the edges again so that everything is staying consistent and cohesive. And I missed a little spot in the middle, so I'm having to like peel it up and change it all around. Do you guys ever do that? Maybe that's just a weird me thing. Um, so I've got this word carefree and I want that to be part of my title. And then I'm going to add some dimensional adhesive to my little like rainbow card and then my little gnome card. So I'm creating some additional dimension. I also put some foam adhesive behind my photos to help them stand up off the pattern paper as well. And then I'm going into the rest of my embellishments. So I have some puffy stickers. So I'm going to get a little arrow in this cluster at the top. And then I'm going to get a little heart that I put on that particular like die cut piece and then I have a little yellow heart so I'm just kind of adding little touches. I do have this puffy sticker that says play and so I'm going to nestle that in up here so that my full title is going to say carefree play and then I'm going to add just hearts. So I've got some white puffy hearts, I have some of these red epoxy hearts. I'm just adding those little details to each one of my embellishment clusters now. So I kind of have four clusters going, which is not usually what I will do. Usually I try to stick to three and have my visual triangle and follow all the design rules. But for this particular layout, I kind of have four, but the title and that block that I have underneath where I'm going to end up putting my journaling kind of become one cluster just because of where their placement is on the page. So don't be afraid to break some of those design rules because in my experience and kind of as I design, it works itself out. And so the embellishments from those two like cluster areas kind of end up melting together into one big cluster. So I'm gonna take this half a doily and I add some ink and I'm gonna put it over the top of this floral paper. And it's see-through enough that you can still see the floral like design behind it, but it's gonna give me a place that I can add my journaling. And so the journaling is gonna be in the same spot that the sketch was, but it just looks different. So I'm gonna add a couple of little phrase stickers to that block. And then I see all of these little bee stickers. And so I'm deciding that I wanna have the little bees scattered in all my clusters around the page. And I just think those are so cute and they just make this look like a lot more whimsical. So I'm just gonna take my pen and add some little like, trails behind them to where it looks like they're flying around and then I add that same little pen detailing around the inside of my doily and then I'm going to go ahead off screen and do my journaling in that space and that is going to do it for this layout. So hopefully you liked seeing my take on this particular sketch and how I kind of built my embellishment clusters in that nice visual triangle even though I have four-ish <laughs> clusters instead of three and do let me know if you go ahead and try out this sketch as well, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.